Okay, let's go over what happens when you have ions. So remember, when we form ions, we cannot mess with the protons in the nucleus. So ions are formed by gaining and losing electrons only. So atoms become positive ions by losing electrons. Atoms become negative ions or anions by gaining electrons. So cations lose electrons and anions gain electrons. So let's just look at an example. Nitrogen with a Z number of seven. We're gonna look at several examples. Now remember, ions are formed by losing or gaining electrons. Nitrogen will gain electrons to form a negative ion or an anion because he is a nonmetal. So this is actually going to change the electron configuration. Here's the complete electron configuration, the abbreviated electron configuration or noble gas configuration is And then the dot diagram has five dots for nitrogen. Like such. Now, when nitrogen forms an ion, he wants to be like a noble gas. So he, he has five electrons he'd have to lose, or he could gain three. He is a nonmetal. It's easier to gain three. So he will gain three electrons and become nitrogen minus three. His electron configuration is going to change. Now he has, this indicates he has three extra electrons. So his electron configuration is going to have three additional electrons. And you'll notice his electron configuration is now going to be just like neon. So if you were to try to accommodate for the fact that he has three extra electrons. He would have a full shell just like a noble gas. Now let's do aluminum. Aluminum has a Z number of thirteen. His noble gas configuration has a core of neon also. That's all 10 electrons that belong to neon. And then he has 3s2, 3p1. His dot diagram would have 2s electrons and 1p electron. Now, this time, aluminum is a metal. He has three valence electrons, and he could either try to gain five more or lose three and be like neon. It's easier to lose three, and remember, metals are losers. So after aluminum loses three electrons, he's going to have a charge of three plus. And his electron configuration is going to change because he's lost his three valence electrons. And this would be his ion configuration. And he's going to be just like neon. And aluminum, three plus. We give no dots because he's got no valence electrons. We're going to do a couple more ion examples. Let's do halogen. All the halogens would be done the same way. I'm just going to pick fluorine randomly with an C number of number nine. So his electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. He has seven valence electrons. So two of these are core. And the other seven 
our valence. Now, when he forms an ion, remember that everybody wants to be like a noble gas. That's the octet rule. So he's either going to have to lose seven to be like helium or gain one to be like neon. And he's a nonmetal, so he's a gainer. He has the most electronegative, so he is the best at taking electrons away from other people. And that's what he does every single time. When he gains one extra electron, he gains an extra negative charge. So he's still got nine protons or nine pluses in his nucleus. When he's an atom, he has nine electrons and he's electrically neutral. But when he is an ion, he gains one electron and this time he'll have 10 minuses. So nine pluses and 10 minuses add together to minus one. His electron configuration is going to change because he is gaining electrons and he's going to be like a noble gas, just like neon. How about sodium? Sodium has a Z number of 11. So he has the 10 that belong to neon, and then he has an additional 3s1 electron. Remember how you find the valence electrons is by looking at the highest energy level. The S and P electrons in the highest energy level or the largest coefficient are going to be your valence electrons. So the abbreviated configuration has neon of a core and 3s1. When sodium becomes an ion, he can either lose his 1s electron to be like neon or try to gain 7 more. But metals are not good gainers. Metals are losers. He's going to lose that 1 electron and he's going to have a charge of plus one. That's because sodium has, in order to be sodium, he always has 11 protons or 11 pluses. When he loses his one valence electron, he'll have one less electron. That means 11 plus and 10 minus give you charge of plus one. This time, his electron configuration loses electrons like this. Everybody in his family will do the same thing. So all of the halogens are going to do exactly what fluorine does. All of the alkali metals are going to do exactly what sodium does.